Hey everyone, welcome to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. If you're brand new and if you're a regular, welcome back. So today's video is going to be quite exciting because we're going to be talking about a few note-taking applications. I wanted to share a few with you, mainly because there obviously is tons that you know about. OneNote, Evernote, all of those resources, brilliant. Fantastic tools, but sometimes checking out new ones that have different functions can be sometimes very, very useful. And I've came across three this month that I think deserve a bit of attention, mainly because they provide a very similar note-taking experience, but in a different area. So we're gonna dive into three different note-taking apps for you to try out. So just before we get started, make sure to hit that subscription button and the bell notification. And if you do like this video, hit the like button. So the first application is called Slight, and I've been able to play around with this one a little. Now it's a note-taking application that brings into play a sort of team aspect. So it's sort of a bit like Dropbox paper meets Slack, I guess, because what you can do is start creating notes with your team members and start tagging them in it, start bringing them into the conversations, but then also start general channels about a specific topic. So it's quite a neat area if you're looking as a team to start bringing in meeting notes, ideas, thoughts, musings, and you want to bring them all into one place. So what I'll do is I'll include that one in the description below, but it's pretty much available on all platforms, which is pretty impressive. And that's a brand new application. Now the next resource I'm going to be talking and doing a full review on very soon, it's called Agenda, and it's a note-taking app on Mac, which has made a few waves. Now the concept is very simple, you can take notes inside of this Mac application, but what it does differently is it associates it to a calendar day, so that you have this stream of notes associated to dates, you can invite other people, bring them in, and rich text format, everything. But the real awesome thing is you've got something called On The Agenda, which has a list of your upcoming notes that you need. So it's almost like having your sort of schedule, but in note format. So it's quite an interesting take on note-taking and productivity. Now you can organize things into projects and activities, and as I was saying, you can assign people to different items. Now I'm not too sure how the collaboration functions work because I'm gonna be doing a full review on it, but I'm very impressed so far at the design, the concept itself, and the functionality of the application. And something I'm gonna be mentioning in a full review, currently this is only available on Mac, it is free, but has a premium experience in it. And the final application is called Moonshot. This is an iOS only application. Now Moonshot tries to combine the idea of planning for a startup with ideas with note taking. So you can create a new plan. And once you create a new plan, you can start adding in notes to that plan, whether that's notes on the idea or notes on the agenda meetings and things like that. And then you can break them down into micro actions. Now, I particularly like this application because it's so well designed. It is an impressive application to look at and something that I'm probably gonna be doing a full review on in the near future. But right now, iOS friendly, it's $2.99 I believe, or £2.99 to $3.99, but it provides you with a nice way if you are starting a business or planning for the future to have a goal setting process. So guys, what I will do is include all of those new applications in description below for you to go away and check out. Again, I was saying I'll probably do a feature like this every single month on different types of apps like habit trackers or maybe even to-do list apps because I think it's important for you to understand what is arising in the market. It's very useful to have uh, just a general knowledge to what apps can be very useful to you. For example, let's say you are looking at the t note taking in a team. There are obviously box notes, Dropbox paper and things like that. Uh, and of course, Evernote business, but Slight is a new application for that. Same with Agenda. Agenda combines notes with calendar, which might be something you, that you enjoy. And Moonshot might be a great iOS experience that you want to use to plan notes and ideas together. So all of these applications can be pretty handy for you, and hopefully this was a useful feature. Let me know in the description below whether you found any useful note-taking apps this month, or whether you found any other awesome apps. I'd really love to hear. Anyway guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure to have a great week, keep productive, make sure to hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.